I'm Lennon Kube, and I'm calling that Lyrical Lemonade, gang shit. I don't know, I've never really classified my music because like, I grew up like, like in music, like I've just gone through phases of what I listen to and what inspires me. Like shit, like some like trippy red, like that's the type of stuff, like that can inspire me. Like any kind of like, I used to listen to like Lil Wayne, like I grew up listening to like Lil Wayne, like I really liked rap, but then like when I got like, a little bit older, I started listening to like a lot of different stuff because like my dad's a musician, so he introduced me to a lot of different music like really early on, and like along with always liking rap, like I don't know, it just all like came together because like I've always been like into music because my dad like really early on he taught me like he would just sit me down and like give me piano lessons or like music theory lessons, just like because he like knew like. He he was he was really into music. He's still really into music. It's his full time job. So like, that's just like what he wanted to like teach me like in his spare time. So like, I don't know. Just early on, I've been exposed to like a lot of different music, and it just all like came together and as like a package. I've been a singer. Like I I I never like started rapping. Like I never started like to do like bars. I was never trying to like spit bars or anything like that. It was always like singing like I was just trying to get my voice really nice and then like through that I became more like I was always like creative but I just became an artist like through singing a lot and then I like realized I could make my own stuff and like stop like stop singing covers so like when I realized I could just start making my own stuff I just decided to get real creative with it do like do all, throw all kinds of genres in it when I was really young, like, my mom was, like, a flight attendant and stuff. Like, she worked in, like, travel and all. So I always flew for free. Like, I could go places for free all the time. So that was, like, California is one of the places I've gone to since I was, like, really little. And I always loved, like, going out there and, like, the vibes and, like, that. I would go out there every year. So, like, just over time, like, that vibe rubbed off of me. Like, that's – I always liked being there way more than being back home. And like being anywhere like by a beach, that was just like, I don't know, it's just like obviously it's a way better vibe than like just, to me at least, like personally, my vibe is like nice weather and like the beach, stuff like that. And just like, I don't know, back home, and it's weird because it's not like that back home and that's where I spend most of my time, but like, I don't know, being back there and being like so boxed in a small town like that, like. It's just like, that's what I wanted to, the, the vibes outside of that is what I wanted to capture with my music, like the experiences I had, like just traveling and like doing all kinds of different stuff. So I'd say like Lil Wayne was like the earliest and then um, Michael Jackson, that was like elementary school and shit, like, and then Prince, Michael Jackson Prince. Um, that's like a lot of stuff that my dad introduced me to. Um, Frank Ocean, I like Frank Ocean a lot. Um, even like Justin Bieber when it comes to like singing, like uh, Bruno Mars, especially when it comes to singing. And he's like Filipino, I'm Filipino. That was like uh, a big inspiration when I like was trying to develop my sound. And uh, let's see, John Mayer, yeah, Trippy, I, I consider him Lil Peep, definitely Lil Peep was like a big influence when, when it started the shift to, um, Cause like early on it was like almost like all straight. It was not rap for me, and um, it was like when I started listening to like Lil Peep and stuff like that. That's when like my style slowly started to like kind of transition uh, into that sound more. Cause like he was kind of doing that too. Like he was singing over like trap beats, and like I just really liked that too. Like I always liked melodic music, so like that was he was a big artist who I. I really liked when it when it came down to like blending sounds. So. Who else? Hold on, I know I got a few more. Nirvana. I don't know if I said Nirvana, but I really um, I've I've made like I don't do it so much now. I don't feel like uh, it gets like as much reception as my like um, more uh, hip hop type music. But like I used to make like even rock stuff like where my voice was like I was just like trying to be like a rock like that ass like a rock star like have my guitar on stage and shit i'm still trying to do that at some point right now i'm more focused on like the the trap um singing vibes and shit but like 
that's on my album like that I don't know when it's coming out exactly but it's coming like I'm working on it it's gonna have like those vibes too like it's not just gonna be a rap uh trap singing type album it's gonna have like I just got live drums recorded on like one of my one of my songs because like that's something I've always wanted to do and like yeah just yeah a whole lot of I, I want to do a whole lot in music like it's not I always want to be changing like it's not going to be um like what is what it is right now in a year and like a year ago it wasn't what it is now like my music is was nothing what it is now so it's always going to change one of the big things is like um like a lot of people a lot of there's going to be like a lot of people that come along and want to be a part of like what you started and shit like a lot of different like little label a and r's like they're just gonna come in and they, they wanna be there like for the ride now. Like they see that you have something coming. But like, I don't know, I think if you built something really strong yourself, like you should continue to like build that. Don't let like everybody like, everybody's gonna try and like get you to wanna like do, everyone's gonna make themselves seem appealing to you. And like, um, ever like it's, if someone seems, people are gonna seem like really cool. Like you're gonna be like, yeah, this this guy, He's, he's cool as shit, like, this is the guy I want to, like, get get in with and work with, and, but, like, I don't know, it's, it's, there's a lot of weird, it's a lot of weird shit, like, um, it's just weird, it's just weird to judge people, like, what their motives are, and that's something that you have to, like, watch out for, because, like, not everyone is looking out for your best interests, like, you gotta, it's, it's important to surround yourself with people, like, who are like going for the same thing you are. That's why like I have Cameron, like Cuff Boys, Cameron around me, Johnny, we're all just like, and, and they were there from the start. Like it's good to have like a core group of people that were there from the start for sure. Just like to always like, just always help you out. Like they're always there if you need them. And they're not just like there for like what you've got going or whatever. Like those are like my, my best friends, like the people I, really started with so like yeah it's just it's just like people like you gotta watch out for who like just are out for to make money off of you basically that's the biggest thing right now for me but also like um on top of that just like staying staying on like just continuing to put out content and like because it's very easy to just like um get get real comfortable with where you're at and then like you can just just fuck around too much and fall off like that can I've seen it happen to a lot of careers like the people I looked up to people I looked up to I've like watched like their career kind of like go to the side because like either their ego or like just drugs like anything like especially drugs like you know that 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 shit ruins like a lot of people and I mean, for me, I, I just smoke weed. Like, I do smoke a lot of weed, but that's that's all I do. Like, I'm not, I'm not really like. For hours going like that, but yeah. I like to just like have fun along the way. Like, I'm not, um, I'm not real like up, real real. I just don't treat it like too too uptight. Like, I need to like have time, like to to just do fun stuff. Like, there has to be that. Um, balance and like so like I, I'll go on like a little vacation or whatever like I'll bring my studio along with me but I might not record but like it's just it's just about like keeping like some time to like you know decompress from everything but I mean if you don't have the time it's important to like stay healthy through it because if you're unhealthy through it which I'm like preaching this but I don't practice maybe I don't practice as well as I should but like, you just gotta, like, just stay hydrated and, like, just eat, just, it can be, like, too easy to be on the road and just eat so much, like, fast food, because it's so easy and it's cheap, and I, I do it too, but, like, I, I try to, I try to, like, just not, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get healthier, because that's, that's one thing, especially with this tour coming up, like, I know I can't, I won't be able to get away with eating McDonald's or eating like whatever I want and then like still feeling fine for my like show the next day. So that's definitely something like being, like staying healthy. All right, 
so like unlike skies who did it to like commit him to music i i just well for a while like i didn't really like i wasn't that interested in tattoos and plus my mom said she like kicked me out if i ever got one so i just didn't even try and think about it but um after red roses and shit like obviously shit was just going uphill like and so my first tat was like four red roses it was like the little broken heart thing from the red roses video and um i don't know like after that like everyone says it like when once you start getting tattoos like you can't really stop but like i, I didn't i decided like to start getting them now because like i feel more secure like i feel like i i'm never i'm not i'm not ever going back to like I never really actually had a real job, but like I, I know I'm not going to do that now. Like that's not really going to happen. And it's either I don't know. Uh, even if I didn't, it wasn't doing this. I don't even know if I go to like college and get a job like that. It would just be some like simple job because I either want to live like this life or just like a simpler life and just yeah. Yeah, it's really cra it's like crazy where we're at now. Like considering what we started as because like that was just like like anybody who's like lived in a small town has like a group of friends they just fuck around with and that was like Johnny and Cameron like I met them in middle school no I met Cameron actually in elementary school but we were just like acquaintances but um like in middle school I started actually that was like it, it all even like ties together with me doing music too because um I always like sang and shit, but I was like scared to sing in front of people. Like I would, I wouldn't even sing in front of my dad. Like if I wanted to sing, I would like make sure everybody downstairs was like doing something. Then I'd like run upstairs and like go go sing real quick, and I'd be like, "Damn, that sounds that sounds sweet." But, like I, I never wanted. To, I didn't know if it was. I, I just sounded good to me. But um, like Johnny was in a band, and like I had never like been out there like that. So like I started, I don't know how, but I just started hanging out with Johnny, like, and then I eventually like ended up in his band, like as a singer, and that's like when I really like started like not caring about people like hearing it singing. I was like 13, and then Johnny happened to be best friends with Cameron, and I was like, oh shit, Cameron Holler, like from elementary school, and ever since then like we've just been best friends, like we, we uh, we'd like go to, and we've we've all always been into music too, like. Um, we used to go to shows together like all the time and uh, like we when um, Cameron is the one who like got me into the like underground like rap scene which is like kind of like where like my fan base is now um, he, he got into that like he was really into that like Bones early on stuff like that and Suicide Boys and then he started doing the like Cuff Boys shit well we, we started Cuff Boys like we just wanted to make a little channel like pranks or like just fucking around like r random shit and then um he did like one little rea like reaction video with his mom and then bones retweet it was like bones for bones and he retweeted it and then that shit just went crazy and like at, like ever since then like the cuff boy shit has all been like tied together like we're, we're always in the vlogs like me and johnny and like he cameron like promotes us that that's how i that's how i like can definitively say like my fan base started growing like without a doubt that credit is to like him and his mom for sure like um because like i would just be right at the intro and like people liked it like there were some haters but i didn't really like it was whatever like it, and it was tight like that was that was when i started seeing like followers and stuff and then like especially when i started like appearing in vlogs and like people actually got to see me and like know me and um then like yeah that 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 grew like ransom and everything and now it's just like crazy because like because because um that's also the reason that like red roses got like their initial traction it did like a million in a month like not not the sole reason obviously but like it was like a big part he he put that as the intro song and like people definitely fucked with that like because it was like it was that style like because like the the songs i had on the intros and stuff were like different like we almost like it's weird how we made people like that music like 18 and stuff like how that became a Cole Bennett video it's just weird you know like but I like that and like that's kind of like what I had in my mind like that was kind of a vision I had to just be like the, this dude like singing in the like rap rap shit like and just 
that's what it is right now. Like, I got, like, you know, like, some crazy, like, rap features and shit coming up. You know? yeah, but, yeah, like, like how does that, that, that come about? But, yeah. This is the whole story, and I don't know if anybody's heard this except, like, like, just Skies and shit. Like, but how I first found Skies, I was just scrolling on Twitter one day, like, two years ago. Like, this was a long time ago. And uh, I saw this song, it was like, it just said Lil Skies, and that name just like, sounded cool to me. Like, I was like, Lil Skies, that sounds cool. Like, I went to his page and I was like, oh, he's got a cool like image too, he's got like tats and shit. Like, he just like, seemed like a cool dude. And I listened to the song and it was like, I was like, this shit like bangs. He's like, and he was like, he was like 16 or 17 at the time. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, in the song he was talking about like he turned 16 or turned 17 or something. And I was like, damn, like, that was back when um, I, I used to like stress about not having enough time and shit. Cause I think I, I might've been like 17 when I saw that shit, but cause like I hadn't really like started putting out music until like, wait, this is unrelated to that story. But anyway, um, so yeah, I, I saw that shit. And so I just started following him and like, I was actually like a fan. Like I, I listened to all the shit that came out and I really vibed with it. Like I, I, I would like smoke and just listen to that shit. Like. I think the first song I found was called Lonely. It's not, it wasn't the Young Band shit, but it was like Sky's own song called Lonely. And then like, I don't know, I just like really liked his music for a while. So um, I was playing this song to Sauce, you know, the Sauce. Yeah, um, I was playing the Sauce in a vlog and I was just like, I was just playing music, like going through SoundCloud. And Cameron just said, like happened to be doing like his little scene, like some scene in the vlog, not scene, he was just like filming shit. And then, um, yeah, like I was just playing that and I didn't think anything of it. And then like a week later, I see Lil, like Lil Skies 23 DM do. Like that was that back then. And like, so I like clicked on that shit cause I was like, what the fuck? Like I haven't, I hadn't even like, I hadn't even thought like, thought about that for a while. Like, cause I, I wanted to work with him really early on. I think I like, may, might've even tried to reach out honestly, like back two years ago or however long I uh, yeah like I tried to reach out to him but like he he had he had like un, he had um like local buzz or like not not just local like he had like a lot of fans in his area he had shows and shit like he was already like young and like he was like young popping like popping his area and shit like he was kind of like a little like it, it wasn't it wasn't too close to like no one around me really like listened to him he was he was like up in Pennsylvania it was just by chance like I saw him on Twitter that one day but then, um, so yeah, I was playing the sauce in the vlog and he hit me up and was like, yo, I seen you fucking with my song. Yo, like, I, I fuck with y'all hard and like some like guitar emoji or something like that. And then I was like, thanks bro, I fuck, I fuck with your shit hard. And like, I even told him like, I even told him um, like he actually like inspired me at one point, like when I was like not, felt like I wasn't like doing shit, like just listening to his music actually like inspired me to get like on my shit. So like, yeah, like, I really like fuck with Skies it like way before all that like and then um so like when he DM'd me I was just like yeah like we gotta do something because at that point at that point when he DM'd me I had already started to like game buzz we had already done a video like I did 18 with you and um like I just had like a little buzz or whatever so uh, from all the online stuff and then I wanted to like so yeah I wanted to do a song with him because I was like yeah that shit would just like go crazy like if I did something like with a rapper and like, especially since I really fucked with him. So like, we, we ended up going to like the same um, place for like, uh, it's like senior week in Ocean City. And then um, he, so he, he had been like listening to my song, or I think he listened to Beach Town. Like that was the one that he, he liked a lot. And um, that's like, it's ironic. Cause like, that's like where we met up, like in a beach town. Like that's what the song was about. Like where we met up and shit. Like, but, um, oh yeah, yeah, so we just started like, uh, we saw that we were both there, like it was just coincidence, so we were just like, yeah, let's chill. And like, so we were just chilling, smoking, whatever. And like, that, that was it, like we were just like chilling for like a week. And then um, I saw, I'd seen his videos and like they were real fire, like um, the ones that Nick did. So I started hitting up, um, or no, I told this guy to like hit Nick for me to come down and like, do a video so he hit him up for me and like Nick came down and did that video and shit and like then um then like a week later we did Red Roses we uh I went down to like Sky's Sky's place 
down in Pennsylvania and we did Red Roses. And then shit just started happening real fast. Like after that, like we didn't even, we didn't have that much time like, like sitting in that like basement recording studio, like struggling, like it was, we were out, like we just started doing shit like so fast. Cause obviously like Red Roses just went up so fast. So yeah, ever since then, but like we all, we're just still like brothers, like it's real close friends shit. And like he, he's like good friends with everyone else like around me. Cameron, Johnny, and everything. So yeah. Basically, I just want to like get across like every message I have in my head and just like release that in the world. Like, just like give my perspective. It's so, so, like going back to what I just said. Like, I want to um, make sure, like, say, like five years down the road, I like said everything that I wanted to say and like did like every everything I wanted to do in music, like, well, not everything, because then, like, there's all that time, but basically, I want to get into a position where I can do it for the rest of my life, like, I can keep making music for the rest of my life, no matter, like, in what way, whether I'm, like, the artist doing it or whatever, I just want to get into a position where, like, it is, like, my, like, whole life, like, what I do and where I, like, um, it's, like, just my profession, like, what I uh, rely on for money, like, just, it's uh, not, hold on, that was worded bad. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, it's just. That's the question that you were talking about before. Oh, this is what you're doing. Yeah, um, but also, also, just like, I wanna, this is more like, I wanna be able to like, help everybody um, who I love out, like all my family, I wanna be able to help everyone out, like, um, just like, so yeah, I just wanna get in a good position so that I can keep like, creating music and like, out of that, I can help out my family. I could buy my mom a house. I could buy my dad a house. I could even put my dad, being a musician, in a in a position like with me, so that he can keep doing me. He's not just like the proud dad. Like he can actually come in and like do something too. Like just yeah, yeah. And some of my songs right now um, out. Uh, some of like the more earlier stuff that I produced myself. Some of it like um, I would leave my uh, recording stuff open like I'll just leave my computer open my dad would like throw an idea in and I'd be like oh yeah that's fire so I could keep it so like some of some of the music that you hear now like some of my dad's touches and some of that already but no, no one really knows that I didn't like I didn't ever like put it there but like it, it is there and like I'm eventually gonna do like way more like stuff with him when it gets down because right now I'm just trying to focus on like everything coming up like the tour and all but like after when I'm working on like my own tour and stuff, I want him to come on tour with me and be like my keyboard player, my piano player, and like my musical director and put together the band and shit like that. Like I want him to be a part of that too. Just like that. And that's that's all that's kinda like something I like always thought would be like in my definition of success when I could do that. Like, um just like be making music and like have my dad like on tour with me and doing stuff like like him actually playing with me, so then it's like, cause, cause when we, when I started off like performing for people, it was with my dad. He would take me on gigs where we would just like, he he would he would be in like cover bands or whatever, like just like put together like acts and like they would do like cover songs, and so I would just they would learn my songs, learn like some songs I wanted to sing, and then I would just go up there and sing, and like yeah, I, I want to keep like doing that. So for when it's like my own show. I could still have my dad, like out there. I don't know. I just want to. I just want to be like, yeah, just like me. I, I'd be stable, like, and and what I'm doing, everyone else around me, like, is taken care of, and I'm just able to like just keep on creating and doing like whatever I want, basically, just like be able to do whatever we want, honestly, like, um, and I want like everyone else around me to like have have been like very successful too, like Johnny and Cameron. Like I want everything, I like everybody to like, just come up all together and like, just be, and Skies of course, like just all of us like up at the top and like, we can all help out our families. Like everybody's good. I want like every, like everybody to be good. I'm very comfortable here, bro. This is, I, I sleep, I slept on this couch on multiple occasions. I'm sleeping on this couch tonight. Um, there's no need for me to put on shoes. I just, uh, 
I'm comfortable here. This is Lyrical Lemonade's family. Always. I'm chilling here. <laughs>